Welcome to the Orpheus training series. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about search. There's two different types of search in Orpheus. One of them is designed to use a really familiar Google-style search method where everything is done from the single field in the top corner of almost every layout in the application. And this is designed to find a single case, or person, or a single record in any of the tables that you interact with. For example, if you wanted to search for a case called um, John Smith, we would just type in John Smith here. When you search here, you don't need any kind of caps or formatting. And ideally, first name first and last name last is, is better than last comma first. And what this will give me here is a result of all the people in the database, um, as well as true duplicates, ELR names, and uh, doctor names, providers. Also, it looks for, um, for hospitals, facilities, uh, and other places in the application. And then from here, I can just directly click on any one of these cases to go directly into that record. So if I click on this record here, I'm now at that person record. I can see that this person actually has two different cases, and I can navigate from there. Uh, up in the top corner, I notice that my search is still there. So I can continue. Um, I can re-trigger my search by clicking this again. Or I can narrow down my search by, for example, if I know that the person's middle name was Ken, I could add another word to the search, and then it narrows down the search, and I find just one now, John Kenneth Smith. Um, also, I can uh, search for less. So, for example, if I did this initial search for John Smith, and um, the person I was looking for was not there, I can shorten my search. So I can take the H off of Smith, and then now I get more results down here. So the less you type in, the more results that you get. I'll take another character off take another character off. And if I shorten down the John here to like J-O-H, or, or maybe even just J-O, now I get actually so many results that it actually can't fit in this block, which only shows about 20 or so records. Um, so if I click and two more people here, I'll then get a list of all of the people that I'm looking at, which I can then sort different ways. I can sort by name, or by date of birth, or by age. Um, some of the fields will give me breaks, uh, so I can see them sort of different ways. So I can also search just on the last name here. So for example, Jones, I, I spelled that wrong. So if you, if you spell something totally wrong, then you can just fix it. And then you get a list of all the people who are Jones in your database. It does multiple different types of search here. So one of them if, is, is it searches for exactly what you type in. So for example, if I type in... Robert Aaron, I get Robert Aaron Smith here. Um, but I can also type in um, Robert Jones or Robert Allen. Now, Robert Allen, this is what I wanted to show here. There isn't actually a record for a Robert Allen, but it does a name substitution and finds a pretty high quality match for a Bob Allen. And so notice that in this area of the screen right here, it actually says what it was searching for. So in this case, in the people table, it found one result for Bob Allen. And in the ELR um, patient table, it did a search for Robert or Allen. So it kind of goes down in priority order. First, it searches for the entire name, Robert Allen, exactly as I type it. If it fails to find any records and it does a name substitution and searches for uh, an alternate name for the first word that you put in here, which is why it's important to always search for first name first. And if it fails on that, as it did here in the ELR table, then it will search on, an, it'll do an or search. It'll search for one or the other word. And in that case, the more words you type in, the more results you'd get here. So if I type in Robert Allen Smith Jones... I might actually get a lot of records here in the CDELR, so it actually found 100, which is not even really a useful search. So in, in general, a general rule is less is more in the search. And pretty much any search that you do is instantaneous, so it's designed to allow you to work like you do with Google, where you try searches multiple times. So that's the basic name search part. You can also search for numbers. So for example, you can type in a, a case number, if there's a specific case number, one, two, three, four, five, it'll take you directly to that particular case. Um, in this case, actually, the number that it, that it searched for was not necessarily the case ID. It maybe was an old case ID. We see the case ID is up here. But it also searches on 
other numbers like the um, CD database case ID and then any other number that we wanted to put in there. Obviously a fake record here for Robin Hood. So for example, this case ID is 15260. If I put in 15261, then it will take me, oh, there's no case for that one. I guess I remembered that number wrong. Let me go to a Smith record here. And um, I'll search for a specific case ID that I know, 15296. So if I went back to my menu and searched for 15296, then it would give me just that exact case ID that I was searching for. Uh, you can also search on a date of birth. So for example, if I want, I, I don't know anything about my case because maybe the part of the facts that came through was smudged or something, except that the person was born 1-1 of 1980. So you can type in a date of birth and then it will give you everybody with that particular date of birth and you can see date of birth shows up right there. Or you might want a case, maybe uh, not the date of birth, but maybe like an onset date. You could type in 12-1-09 um, and it will show you onset cases of, you know, somebody. This is a very partially filled out record here. And it looks for the date creation of, and the date of onset and other things like that, uh, more recently created records. In this case, the onset was imputed to be 12109, and that's the field that it searched for. This also works for other tables. So if I, for example, go back to my John Smith result, if what I am looking for is not actually a person or a case record in Orpheus, but a CDELR, then I can click directly on one of these records here, and it takes me to the electronic lab report portion of Orpheus. This is really useful if you're trying to enter a case and you, you find the record in ELR, but not in Orpheus, which means it's a case that is lab confirmed, but has not yet been entered into the database as a case. And you can use the ELR system to create that record, which will be in a separate lesson. So mostly though, with this new feature, um, expecting it to work pretty much like Google and uh, experimenting and doing multiple searches for the things that you're looking for uh, to make absolutely sure that you're not making any kind of a duplicate is what really this is designed to do. So thanks very much for your time.